Hello again. Today I'm going to attempt to show you how I made this card and attached the twine with the bow. Um, this circle frame is this um, pink fresh one, but I just thought I'd show you that you don't need to have specialty ones to um, to make um, a frame like this or a bauble or whatever. So what I'm going to show you is uh, these these dies I think are fabulous. They're by press cut and there's just heaps. I think it's about 32 in the set. And what I like about them is the fact that they're so um, close together in size that you can make really interesting frames. I've got circles, I've got squares. Oh, this. Uh, I've got rectangles, I've got all sorts, and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to show you the circles today. Um, my cards, normally, I make from a sheet of A4 card. So I cut a, a sheet of, of A4 card in half down the length and tent fold it. And I often, often use a panel on the front because there's all sorts of reasons why a panel is useful. One, it, it adds dimension. Two, if you're going to have any um, alcohol marker colouring on it, it'll show on the back of the panel and it won't show on the inside of the card if you use the front of the card. Um, lots of reasons why um, a little bit of dimension and a panel on the front, for me, is a good idea. So I cut my panels with this, which is, in fact, a Sizzix die. And... Uh, Unusually for us in this country, in the UK, this one fits um, metric dimensions rather than the imperial dimensions used in the US. So one of these, I think this is about the second to largest in the set that I've got, just gives a nice little border around the edge. So that's what I often cut the front panel with. Now, to make um, this bauble, I think the, the the snowdrops, now these are from Gummier Pan, a Swedish company, and I think they're absolutely delightful. They're so tiny, really delicate. Um, to, to, to do this, you need to make a, um, a hole, an aperture in that front panel so that, you know, there's a, a focus on that image in the middle there, whatever it happens to be. So... What I'm going to use is some of those press cut dies. Now I can make a baubly thing like that with just two of them. And to make the aperture in the middle of the panel, I'm going to use the one that is in between the two sizes. So that when I stick that circle, the ring, onto this, the hole will just be covered. Should be easy says she. Let's have a go. So what I'm going to do is place these onto the um, the card panel and I do tend to eyeball it. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't, but wait, the card doesn't get wasted. And I'm going to put some tape onto this just to keep it in the right place. This is sticks to anything low tack tape, which I think is fab. Now, because this bit, this low tack tape is fabulous, but um, if you're going to stick it anywhere, stick it on a bit that's going to be wasted rather than on a bit that's going to be the front of the card. It'll keep it perfectly well. Right, now the other bit, this one I haven't got much excess, so I can't really do much about that. So just have a look, see where we are. I think that's about equidistant, so I'm just going to put a bit on one corner. And a bit on the other, up, diagonally opposite. I think that's okay. Okay, now I'm just going to run this through this uh, machine. If you ever, if ever you can, I know you can't see this very clearly on here, but if you can put it at an angle, anything that's got a straight edge, um, if you're putting it through the rollers, they don't like it so much if you have it absolutely um, parallel with the rollers. So. It's a bit of an effort for the roller to get over. So if you just do it slightly on an angle like that, you won't get that awful cracking sound that you find if you when you're putting things 
through your die cut machine. I've got to be careful because my cup of coffee is the other side of this. Oh, just missed it. That's good. Out. Right. So there's our front panel. Okay. This is the card I've cut ready for that to go on there. Now we'll cut our um, bauble shape from the two circles. I've taped them on there as equidistantly as I can, just out of a bit of scrap. Let's get our, there we are. There's our bauble shape. And because I use the middle sized one, I've got a little bit of leeway on the inside, do you see? So it'll it will cover the the aperture, but um, if I'd got that aperture slightly off, I could have compensated with this. Okay, now to add my um, twine, this is just a, a reel of baker's twine. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was off Amazon or somewhere, I don't know, but it's just baker's twine. So it's quite strong and I don't want to damage the um, the circle. So I can put in an eyelet. Now, I, I was looking this morning, when I first started using eyelets, I used to have a little gizmo with a hammer and you just put this little gizmo over the the eyelet and um, bashed it with a hammer and it splayed open the eye. Can't find it. Since then I did buy this, um, I think this is called a cropper dial or something similar from We Are Memory Keepers and it's got all sorts of gizmos on here too. It's got a couple of hole punches and it's got a couple of things you can whiz around to do the different size eyelets. So the first thing I have to do if I want to put an eyelet in there is to make a hole. That's the big punch that side. This is the little one here. So let me just see if I can. It's a bit awkward to do. You have to watch where it's coming out from and then aim it at your. I don't know if you can see that. So there I've got a little hole. Can you see? Now what you do, you use this bit of it and you place your eyelet, which I've put onto my pokey tool, over that, you place your piece of whatever card that you're going to do with the right side down over the top. Oops, a daisy. Now I've lost the eyelet. Oh, good grief. Where did it go? Let's get another one for now. This is the story of my life, would you believe? Absolute story of my life. Clumsy. Let's get another one. I'm choosing silver. I bought a whole bunch of new ones from um, eBay. And um, there we go. It's on. I'll try again. I'll try and hold it still this time. Right side of the card down over the top. Push the eyelet through and then you just squeeze and it splays it out. Can you see? So now I've got a little eyelet in there, which will just make that really, really strong. I'd love to know where that other one went to. I'll come across it later, probably. It happens all the time. Okay, now to, at to attach this onto here, I will use a little bit of glue on the back. But before I do that, I want to sort out the ribbon. Um, well, the tie, whatever it is. So here I've got this twine and what I like to do is cut a small piece and I'm just going to poke this through the hole that I've just made in that circle from the back to the front just to put a hole put it through the hole if I can get it through there we are okay now what I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to attach this there can you see over the top but what i'm going to do is attach my bow to this loop now here is my bow maker i have used this in another video just to see which is the best angle for you to see i think over there so what you do is this 
because I've got two strings going up uh, over the top of my my card here, I'm going to have two loops on either side of my bow. If I wanted one loop, I would just tie this around my bow maker once, but I'm going to go around twice. So around once, I've got cord on the left because I'm right-handed. Round we go once, round we go twice. Now I'm going to cross these over, go through the gap, and this is where I'm going to go through this loop that I made here. Just like that. And now I'm going to tie my bow. So a knot. And there's my bow. Okay. Now I'm going to carefully lift this off here. And I'm going to slide that down. And now I have my bow attached to my circle. I'm just going to snip the ends off. There we go. I always keep a pair of scissors for ribbon or um, twine and that kind of stuff so that it doesn't chew out them. If you cut paper with stuff, it, it really makes a mess. So there's my... And to, to secure that, all I'm going to do is to put a little glue dot. I've got some sticks to anything glue dots here. I'm just going to put a little glue dot on the back and that's just going to hold it absolutely in place. There's my glue dot. On it goes. There we are. So now that is absolutely fine and suspended. So now I can go about just sticking that to here. I think I'll use just a little bit of zig glue for this one. Just around here. There we are. Make sure it's centralised. And that's at the very top. Looks okay to me. Stick it down. Okay. Now the thing to do would be to attach this to the front of my card. At the moment, I haven't got an image. I could, I've could. i got all sorts of odds and ends here that I could probably... This is stuff that I make and then don't know what to do with. Butterfly, maybe? Let's have a look. I don't like throwing things away, I have to say. That could be quite nice. Um... Well, I'll choose something. I'm not sure what I want to put in there. There's another one. I could do. It's a bit big. I'll find something. But I'll just show you what I do for the rest. Now, this over the back and a little piece of just sticky tape. We'll hold that. Make sure that's in the middle as well. There we go. And I'll cut off the excess. Here we go. Now, to stick this onto here, I use foam tape. This again is from Sticks to Anything. Now, where that um, cord is, if I take my foam tape right over that, I'm going to have a big lump sticking up. So what I do is this. Put on a bit on this side and a bit on that side. Okay, easy peasy, lemon, as they say, squeezy. That's too long, let's cut a bit off there. Now, because this is a circle and I want it to stand up, I'm going to put some bits of, of foam tape around the perimeter of this circle. Again, not going over the um, not going over the cord because it will make it stick up too much. Now a bit down the edge. I just love this. It's so it's so narrow. It's not too fat either. I just think it's great. So there we are. So then you can 
peel those off and stick that onto your card front once you have decided what's going into the middle. There's another butterfly. I've got all sorts of things here. Another butterfly, too big. Be surprised what I've got. That smells too big, look. No much smell. That's a pretty colour though, I do love that. Might use that colour again. That's a bit of um, Nouveau um, shimmer, dry, shimmer powder. It's lovely. Anyway, I'll find something. So that's how I do it. How to attach a bow and an eyelet to make um, a little bauble frame. So, as ever, have a go. And it's been really lovely to have you watching. Thanks so much.